Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Very All good. Right. All right. Very good. So let's see. I have Norma, Mary, Ale, Guadalupe. Let's see who else I have already. Glenda, Carlos Alberto. Very good. Esmeralda. Nice. Welcome back, Alejandra. Let's see. Ellie, very good. All right, very good. How's everybody? Everybody okay? Hello. Yeah. Ah, we are okay. Excellent. How was your day today at work? Fine. Good day? Bad day. Good day. All right, very good. All right. How are you, Ellie? Ellie, are you there? Hola, hola. Uh, Ah, in serio, you were sick? Sí. Oh no, Eli. But you're feeling better now? Más o menos. Todavía no me quita la tos. Sí, verdad? Okay. But you're taking medicine. <coughs> Oops. Yeah, all right. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. No, don't worry about it. Okay. I also have Carlitos Alberto. Hi, Carlos. Carlos, se me había perdido. All right. I guess he's not around. Very good. I have Fatima. Hi, Fatima. Noemi. Also. Hi, good. teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Noe. Good. All right. Esmeralda, ¿qué se me había hecho? Esmeralda's a microphone. It's off. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine. I've been working hard. Oh, okay. All right. That's okay. Okay, remember, guys, that today and tomorrow, is, they are our last classes, okay? And okay. then the idea is to practice a little bit about the will versus be going to tonight. And then tomorrow we will work on the platform, okay? Just to make sure that everybody is working okay on the exam. So that's the idea tomorrow, okay? To go over the platform, any exercises that you may not know the answer or you may be having difficulties with, all right? Or if you haven't done it, then just to like, like I help you work on it so you don't have to, complete everything by yourselves, okay? Remember that everything has to be complete by the weekend, okay? okay. And how's everybody? Did you guys already finish? Has anybody finished already the last exam? No. Yes, ma'am. Ah, very good. Everything complete, Noemi. Uh Solo en el, en el examen último del, del número 3, ajá, hay una pregunta ajá. que no la pude contestar. Ah, okay, Entonces, solo okay. me dice 99%. Excellent. All right. Okay, very good. Me falta terminar but, eso. Yeah, okay. But tomorrow, Noemi, we can check it. So you have 100%. Okay? <laughs> Excellent. Very good. All right. And Eli, I know you've been very sick. Have you been able to work on the platform, uh -huh. Eli Ladin? Yeah, finish, finish, finish. Oh my goodness, very nice. Okay, Walter, have you, yeah. what about you? Thank you, Ellie. Walter, what about you? Are you finished with the platform and the exercises? Waltercito? Ah, okay, he left, all right. Okay, that's okay. So um, that's the idea for tomorrow's class. But today we're gonna uh, continue talking about will versus be going to, okay? And yesterday, I showed you a PowerPoint presentation about the different uses of will and the different uses of be going to, okay? Does anybody remember one of the uses of will? When you promise something. When you promise something. Very good, Mary. Very nice. Okay, so when you promise something, you say, I promise I will complete the platform, okay? You're promising, very good. Any other usage of will? Uh, when you have an intention. Uh-huh. Um, the intention to do something? 
I have to do something. All yes. right, very good. Okay, anybody when, else? Uh -huh. when, you, when you offer help to other... Excellent. Yeah, when you offer help or you ask for help also. All right, very good. Nice, there are three. Any other usage, guys? Do you remember if any other? In a spontaneous the, sentence. That's right, when it's a spontaneous. All right, very nice. Okay, nice. Uh, someone else was saying something. Uh -huh. All right, very good. It's like immediate decision also. It's nothing, nothing planned. Very good. So I'm just going to show them to you again just to like refresh our minds all right and these are the uses of will for the ones that were not in class yesterday so we use will for voluntary actions okay or you can use will when you express a problem you may also use will to express a spontaneous decision like right now okay that we decided at the very moment then we have we, we use will to request to request help or offer help also we use uh will with words expressions like probably possibly perhaps i'm sure i expect remember guys that will is not a hundred percent sure that is why we're using words like probably possibly Perhaps, because I am not 100% sure that is going to happen. So you say, I will probably, um, I don't know, eh, be in class tomorrow. Okay? You're not so sure. That's why you're using will plus probably, because it's not sure that that's happening. Or you say, Noemi possibly will, I don't know will what will you do? ah we'll go on a trip next january okay so there is a 90 percent possibility but there's a still a 10 percent that we don't know all right to give an example so remember that will is not a hundred percent sure then the last usage is we use will when the main verb is be even if we talk about the planned about a, about planned events, all right? So yesterday, what we, your classmates were doing, were making sentences, applying these rules, all right? So Daniel, can you give me one of the examples uh, using will, sorry, using will to, whoa, hold on, this is crazy right now. <laughs> what happened? All right. So Daniel, can you give me an example using will to express a voluntary action. Um, it's too hot. I will open the, the door and I will, I will open the window. Okay, very good. Someone says it's too hot. And then the other person says, oh, I will open the window. All right, very nice, nice example, all right? Uh, Roxana, use will to express a promise. Can you tell us your sentence that you came up with yesterday? I promise. They uh -huh. promise. Uh, they promise they will be at restaurant. Ah, very nice. All right, nice. Okay, Norma Campos. Thank you. Yeah. Can you can you give us the example of will to express a spontaneous decision? You want to speak to one. Say it again, Normita. I cannot really understand. Norma, can you can you give us the example yes, again? She wants to speak. She wants. She wants to speak. Is that what you're saying? I'm not sure. Uh, All right. Okay. I'm I'm having a difficulty like listening or understanding what you're trying to say. But that's okay. Let's see. Who else was in class yesterday? Ana Dimas, were you in class yesterday? No, teacher. No, I, right. Hi, Anita. What happened? <laughs> because I I sick. Ah, you were sick. Okay. Glenda, yeah. what about you? Do you have will to express a spontaneous decision? Do you have that example, Glenda? No? All right. Mary, do you have that example? Were you in class? Hi. Oh, hi, Glenda. Yes. Uh -huh. Hi. Glenda. Hi. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yeah, I will. Uh -huh. 
I will accept invitation. Okay. We'll accept the invitation. Okay, that is a spontaneous decision. I will dance. All right, okay, I think I am understanding here. All right, uh, Mary, what about will to request help or offer help? Will you help me to chart, to change the tire? Very I will help good. you to change the tire. Ah, very nice, thank you, very good. Roberto, um, were you in class yesterday, Roberto? Yes, right? Yes. Okay, can, I, can you give us the example to use will with words and expressions like probably, possibly, perhaps? Okay. Uh, my brother will probably finish his homework. Excellent. Very nice. Very, very nice sentence. All right. Uh, let's see. Guadalupe, were you in class yesterday, Guadalupe? No, teacher. Oh, uh, you weren't. All right. Alex Calderon, were you in class? Hi, I am here. Yeah, all right. Alex, can you give us an example using the last example? You, you We use will when the main verb is be. Um, okay, I will be in class tomorrow. Excellent, and you are here. Okay. All right, very good. That was your sentence yesterday. Okay. And then, thank you, Alex. All right. And then we have, this is for the ones that were not in class yesterday. Thank you. All right. So, be going to, and these are the uses of be going to. Number one, it says we use be going to to talk about prior plans. Plans that we decided beforehand. All right. Or a strong intention. Arrangements. We can also use be going to uh, to predict future events as well as will. The weather tomorrow will be sunny or you're going to be a famous artist. All right. So either or it's okay. Uh, note we use be going to not will to make predictions about um, events when there is a concrete evidence. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you have a concrete evidence, we go with going, be going to. All right. When we are predicting a future event, but the evidence is not so strong, we should use will better. Okay. Do you guys understand what I'm talking about? Hola, hola. Yes. All right. Yes. Very good. I hope yes. so. All right. So um, what I want you to do right now is the following especially if you were not in class yesterday what i want you to do is going to do like we are going to write sentences now no using will but using be going to all right so just we're going to make only three sentences following these examples one to talk about prior plans the other one to predict future events using be going to as well as the other one because you're talking about concrete evidence, okay? Do you understand what you're doing? Yes. All right. Yes. If you may, I mean, if you want to, you may take a picture of this. This is right right now to help you write your sentences. Did you copy, did you take a picture of that one? Yes. All right. Everybody ready? Guys, ready? Yes, you do. Okay. I am ready. Excellent. All right. Yes. So let's go, and we're going to make right now. We're making three sentences, one for each uh, each use, and then when you finish, we're going to come back, and I have a worksheet for you, and you have mixed uh, uses of will, or be going to. Okay. So that's what we're doing next. And that will probably take you a little bit because there are some like some some questions or some sentences. All right, so let's go to our groups. All right, so you can start clicking on the invitation so you can work on your sentences.
my Eh, me vienen ah. unas frases, pero no sé cómo traducirla. D dígame, dígame. ¿Cómo sería? Es que, por ejemplo, mi carro se ve, se ve viejo, se va, se va a arruinar, por poner un ejemplo. My car looks old. Uh -huh. It is going to... Break? Ajá, uh -huh. it is going to break. It... Uh -huh. Yeah, because you have a concrete evidence. Yes. It's, right. no, 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 me equivoqué. It's going, going to break. 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 Okay. In, in Teacher, solo. Yes. Uh -huh. Tell me. Solo eran tres oraciones. Yeah, only three sentences because we'd be going to where we only mm. have three uses. Mm -hmm. Now, on the second sentence, uh, you're predicting a future event. In this case, both are correct with will. But in this case, because we're using going to, um, just change it. The Barcelona will is going to win the, champion, the Champions League. Will, be, will, be, will is okay, but in this case, we're using going to, be going to, uh, all right? Mm -hmm. Change the word will. That's right. To, will to, be going, to going to. to. Uh -huh. It's going to. Will be. Mm -hmm. No, but Barcelona be, no. is going to. Uh, it's, it's going, going to. to. Win. Yeah. 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 win the Champions League. All right. Win. All right. And in English, we don't say the Barcelona, only Barcelona. Only Barcelona. Ah. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And just, thank you, watch teacher. This, just watch the spelling of break. Very nice. Thank you. Thank Good you. Good job. All right. We're going to um, just let me go check some other groups and then we're going to check the sentences or share okay. the sentences and then we're going to do the other activity. All right. And go ahead. Okay. Podríamos hacer de la segunda porque usamos will y ayer usamos will. Podríamos mm -hmm. hacer una que diga going to. That's going right. To. Uh -huh. Con going to, uh, creo que no diría lo mismo que lo que pusimos. Ver? No. Maybe my son going to a graduate next, next month. Is going to, remember, is. Is, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok. Um, teacher. Yes, no. Uh, and uh, our sentence is Tuesday is will rain for long time. And what? for long time. And the in the use going to this um Tuesday is going to rain for long time. Is that equal? No. Say it again. Tell me the first one again, Remy. Tuesday is going to rain for a long time. For a long time. Uh -huh. Tuesday is going to rain for a long time because of the tropical storm, for example. Mm. The, then you give me a concrete evidence. Yeah. Because I'm having the The prediction. The, the, the prediction. Oh, okay, that's okay. Okay, you can say, yeah, Tuesday is going to rain uh, for a long time. That's okay. It's correct. Yeah, okay. it is correct, yes. Ah, okay. okay. Now, this... Okay, habíamos usado con will. Will, rain. Yeah. will rain. I mean, remember that you can, yeah, will be, uh, will be raining for a long time, if you want to use will. Yes. All right. Remember that you may use be going to will to predict future events. All right. In general, either or, either will or be going to, it's okay. But when you have a, a concrete evidence, then you're supposed to use be going to. For example, there is a tropical storm coming in. Uh, it is going to be, or is going to rain a lot because you know that there is a fact or a concrete evidence that we're going to have a tropical storm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, so, so. 
So, three. so. Okay, four, four, yes, okay. For number three, for number three, remember that you need to have an evidence. Yes. Okay. It's a little bit different than number two because for both of them, for number two and number three, you are talking about predict, predicting, all right? But okay. what makes the difference between number two and number three is that in number three, you have a concrete event or a concrete evidence, mm -hmm. all right? So when you have a concrete evidence, you have to use be going to, not will. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Yeah. For okay. example, I say, I don't know, uh, my cholesterol is high. I am going to be sick. Okay. All right. I have a concrete evidence. My cholesterol is high. Okay. Okay. Entonces, no solo estoy prediciendo algo, sino que lo hago en base a algo concreto. Entonces, cuando okay. tengo algo concreto, Okay, entonces ahí sí tengo que usar be going to, not will. Okay. Diferente okay. que yo solo diga, me voy a enfermar, I am going to get sick, or I will get sick. Estoy prediciendo un, futuro, un evento futuro, pero no soy nada. Uh -huh. Entonces okay. en esa puedo usar will or be going to. Mientras que yo ya tengo, que ya fui donde el doctor donde la doctora Noemi y ya me dijo, ah, no, teacher, su colesterol está muy alto. Ya me dio una evidencia concreta, obviamente me voy a sentir mal. ¿Ya? Ok. Eh, comer chicharrones. <risa> no, pero I don't eat. I don't only an example, ¿no? <risa> ¿Y hoy por qué no la podemos ver? No voy más, teacher. I don't know. You want to see me? <risa> I'm here, I'm here. <risa> Thanks for Yeah. All right. So you understand, ladies? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank, you, teacher. Thank you. Very good. Very That's nice. good. Okay, very good. I'm going to go check one more group and then we can do the other exercise, right? Yes. Right. Right. Look at the, look at Hi, Jennifer, practice. Roxana, and Carlos. Are you finished? Yes. Yes, only teacher. One. Yeah, you're going only to go. Three? Yeah, only three. Yeah. <laughs> You're go yeah, I was on the other groups explaining something. You're going to go to the university next. Ah, okay. So you're going. I you are going to go to university next year, not to the university. That's in Spanish. Okay. Uh -huh. The Very university. Good. Yeah, next year. That's okay. All right. So that's a prior plan. All right. That's very nice. Okay. My mother is going to be fine in the party tomorrow. Very good. We are going to pass the English course. Okay. For number three, yeah, of course. For number three, you need to have a concrete evidence. What makes you think that you're going to pass the English course? Uh, because we made all the exercises. Ah, okay. So that's the concrete evidence, okay? Because we, um, we, made, we made all the exercises, okay. And the final X. Exercises. That's okay. Yes, that's okay. We made all the exercises. Okay, very Excellent. good. All right. Okay. So you can say, Excellent. I am, you can also say, for example, I am finished the platform exercises. I am going to pass my English course. All right. And you're giving me a concrete evidence. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's, that's like making sure that it is happening. Okay. 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 Good job. Good job. Very good. Nice sentences. Nice. Carlitos, you understand? Carlos, you understand? No tiene audio. No tiene. No tiene. Sí. Oh. Sí. He, he has. Uh -huh. He has a uh, problem. Uh, problems with the microphones. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Lo bueno es que está en clase, Carlitos. No All right, very good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, Carlos. Very good. Nice to have you in class. Okay, we're going to go back and I'm going to uh, share with you the exercises that I want you to be working on, okay? Okay. All right, I'm going to close the rooms right now. Yeah. 
Okay, is everybody finished with the sentences? Yes. Okay, very good. There were only three. But remember that when you talk about uh, the uses of be going to for number three, you have to have a concrete evidence. You have to be, you, you say it because you know it's going to happen that way, okay? Let's okay. see, uh, Fatima, can you, can you share with us your three examples, please? Uh, okay, for the, for the first rule? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. please. He's going to be an engineer. His okay. graduation is in the next month. Okay. All right, what about the other one? I'm going to study Italian next year. Oh. Okay, what about the other one? And the last one, they are going to travel to Panama for their vacations. All right, um, but Fatima, in the last one, what is the concrete evidence? Mm, for me, is the vacation is for uh, make another activity different to the, to work all right okay okay all right okay it's okay fatima just making sure yeah i just want you to make sure that you know like i know you know but for everybody to understand the differences between a future plan or something that was planned already and something based on evidence okay all right, so, but I mean, other than that, you guys are doing okay. Very good. Let's see. Um, anybody else that wants to share their answers with me, their sentences? Okay, teacher, the first one. Okay. Yes, Norma, go ahead. I am going to read the Harry Potter books. Oh, okay. So that's the a plan. Is, is that a plan, a prior plan? A prior or, that, plan. or that's just the number two where you have no, a number, few, one. number one okay yeah the second uh, the traffic tomorrow will be heavy okay or you can say it's going to be heavy also right uh-huh okay the the third one we are going to be a good student ah and what is your concrete evidence what what is your concrete evidence uh, for number three? The good student. But how do you know you're going to be a good student? I not understand. On, on, I not okay. understand. All right, that's okay. Remember mm -hmm. that I said that for number three, you need to have a concrete evidence, something that gives me the idea that something is going to happen because of an evidence I have for you. Uh, okay, I need to make a compliment. Sure, either before for, uh, or after it. For example, uh, we are going to be a good student. Uh, we make all the activities to, to need. Okay, yeah, to be needed. All right, that's okay, yeah. So, yeah. That's better, Norma. Remember that you need to have, like, why do you say that? The why. All right. So, for example, you say, oh, it is cloudy. All right. That's a concrete evidence. All right. It's going to rain. Si usted solo me dice, it is going to rain, estamos prediciendo el futuro. Lo cual está bien, which is okay because you, you're using going to. But it's even better when you say, oh, look, it's cloudy, all right? And there's a lot of thunder. It is going to rain. Ahí usted está más segura que va a llover porque está ya nublado y porque hay mucho rayo o mucho, whatever it is, all right? So you give me a concrete evidence, okay? But that's okay. I mean, the idea, the idea for you to do this is to understand all the uses. Y si se dan cuenta, se parece mucho. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just need to make sure yes. that you understand it a little better. Cuando les, les voy a enseñar el ejercicio, like in about, like now, 
Entonces, la idea es que analice todo el contexto de la oración, porque dentro del contexto de la oración, ahí le puede dar algo, la certeza de decir, ah, esta es una evidencia concreta, entonces mejor uso be going, I mean be going to. Este es una promesa, all right, so I have to use will, porque están como mezclados en esto, ok? So let's try to work on that right now, guys. Teacher. Yes, Alex. Y si Moisés Urbina dice que va a llover mañana, es una evidencia concreta. I don't know. <risa> Preparate, no, dice solo la lágrima. Es posibilidad de campaña o cualquier perhaps. cosa. Perhaps. Yeah. Hey. That's funny. That's a very good question, Alex. <risa> ok. It, that depends if you believe in Urbina or not. <risa> Okay, there you go. Okay. okay. So here, guys, we have will versus going to. Okay, or be going to. So you need to come. You, I want you to take a picture. Uh, we're only going to, hold on. We're going to do 15. Let's see if we have time. If not, you can just finish it up for later. So take a the picture 15? of that right now. 15, can you see it? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. No. Yes. From number one to 15, not 16, 15. 15. 15. Yes. Okay. Okie dokie. All yes. right. So go to your groups mm -hmm. and start reading the sentences carefully. All right. And you decide together whether to use will or be going to. Okay. All right. So let's, oops, let's, oops, what am I doing? Yeah. Let's go now. There you go.
promotion will be will be really exciting. Will be okay. Okay. Number five. Mm -hmm. What are your plans for this evening? Uh, for this is be going be going to because going. yes because it's a prior plan a strong intention yes i'm going i'm going to meet i'm going to i'm go, going to meet yes number six if you revise for the exam, I'm sure you, I'm sure, I'm sure. Will be. Will, uh, uh, sure, sure, or be going to. Uh, are going, will uh, be really exciting. Uh -huh. Will be really exciting. Okay, number five. What what are your plans for this evening? This will. a plan. Okay. I will I will meet my friends will. and then go to a birthday will. party. Yes. Number six. Number six. If you revise for the exam. I am sure. Alex and Anita, are you sure about number five? Um, it's a plan, but... Uh -huh. Sorry, I have the rules here. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> we say that it's, it's, it's so complicated if we have to see the rules, uh, <laughs> but... It's the better to to a give a better answer. Uh -huh. It's a probable okay. future. Plan. It's a they have plan. Yeah? Uh -huh. um, the first one is voluntary action. Yeah. Second okay. promise, promise, no. Uh, a spontaneous, spontaneous decision, decision, no. no. Uh, the other three is <laughs> offer and request help. No. Uh -huh. uh, Probability, possibility, perhaps a uh, plant. Mm -hmm. It's probably yes. decision. Yes, it's a. Uh, we talk about the plant event. I will be uh -huh. alone tomorrow. So number five, say. Uh, number five is what are but your plants? plants? Yes. All right, but what about going to? Check the first one for not, for going to. The second, nah. the first rule. Okay, going to first rule. I am going to buy a new car next year. We used be going to to talk about prior plans. plans. Okay. Mm -hmm. Strong uh, going to uh, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if I ask you, what are your plans? You already have something planned beforehand. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So the uh, the key word here is what are your plans for this evening? Because you already have something in mind. Yes, but it's so it's so, so similar. Attention. So similar the the yeah. sixth rule for will. Sure. With the number first of going to. Right. Let's check number five again. Ah, versus B. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, that is true. The versus B, even if we talk about plan the plan event. events, but we we yeah. but we're using B. When we use B, you have to use will. But in this case, we're not using B, are you? Yes, we are not going it's... to use B. Uh huh. I. I am so going to. I am going to meet my friends. Uh huh. Yes. All right. Going to. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, we have learning a lot. Uh, I know, yeah. 
It's uh, fun because you discover those little details. Yes. <laughs> um, you will be our teacher next uh, next uh, module. <laughs> yes, for the next course. I hope so. <laughs> yes, I hope so too. <laughs> I suppose you suppose. I probably will. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure yet, but probably yeah. We will be praying for that. Okay, all right, very nice. <laughs> now you're using it correctly. Very good, Alexi. <laughs> okay, we are learning. That's very nice. All right, I'm going to check well, in another group, okay? Keep on working. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, for 13, it, she wants to get her mom a birthday present. Hi. Hi. Hello. You finished? Yeah. No. We uh, are no. In the in the ninth sentence. Ah, okay. All right. I'm like, oh no, they finished. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> in the future. Mm, I want you to check number six. I see a mistake on number six. If you sí, were... se nos olvidó poner el ah, um, uh -huh. sí. R. El R. Ah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we. Futuro, pienso que los humanos serán diferentes. Ah, why are you mm. translating? Oh no. <laughs> 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 no Spanish. No Spanish. Sería. <laughs> will, will we'll. sería, verdad? Ajá. Sí. <laughs> will. Will wipe out. Wipe out? What does it mean, teacher? Ah, uh, like delete. <laughs> delete? Def uh -huh. oh. right. Like to erase, like to clean it. But, uh, it it's like, no, it's, it's a little like, different. If like you disappear. say that I wipe the table. A wipe out you know, is a brazzer there. Yeah, do you yeah, it is. Do you have a car? Yes, I have. Okay. Uh yes, I do. Um, have you ever heard in el taller or in los talleres dicen el wipe? Ah, yeah, yeah. This is the wipe, the clean, wipe out, to clean up. All right. Uh-huh. I got it. Uh-huh. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> He's buying some butter and eggs because he will he... make. Hi, Norma, Esmeralda, uh -huh. Federico. How are you doing? Five. Hi. I had a, a, a doubt. Yes. Number eight. Uh -huh. I, also, I, I don't know what is the, the translator uh, uh, about that. Okay. What's the meaning exactly? Uh -huh, because it said, I can come on the march tomorrow. Uh -huh. What's the meaning exactly, teacher? Uh -huh. That I can come on the march tomorrow. That you march cannot go. Is march tomorrow. is like, like a marcha, like a parade. Ah, march, the march. That's right. No, no, it's a, it's a verb. Ah, uh, it's march. Okay. Mm -hmm. Similar to strike mm -hmm. or parade. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Sí, por eso decía, pero mira, no tiene sentido. Le decía, mira, el complemento de la oración, nada que ver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, uh, And do you understand? Look after? <laughs> yeah. Do you, yeah, what is look after? Look, la A is weird. Because a few uh, look at after uh, his coaching. Uh -huh. But do you understand what the, the verb look after means? Do you know what it means to look after? Look after. Uh -huh. What does it mean? Do you understand the meaning? Que lo verá después. No, que lo va a cuidar. Yes. Que lo va a qué? A cuidar. Ah. Uh -huh. I look after. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué no dice carry? Porque no se dice así para cuidar a alguien. Mm. Uh -huh. 
y, y look after it for anywhere, niños, adultos. Sí, o sea, si usted va a cuidar a alguien, por ejemplo, usted va a cuidar a su abuelita, o la va a atender, la va, usted dice, I will look after my grandma. All right. Eso no, no es que la va a mirar después. Eso es como traducirlo literal, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero es un phrasal verb. Los phrasal verbs, eso es lo curioso, que cuando se unen, y su significado cambia. Mm. Look after es, es eh, cuidar. Igual cuidar. que se puede decir, I will take care of my cousins. Pero es más, exactly. nativo, es más nativo decir, I will look after my cousins. Mm, ok. Mire, okay. okay. y lo mismo es para la número 9, ¿verdad? Donde dice, white out, uh -huh. es como aniquilar, ¿verdad? Exacto, sí. Es que Esta wipe es como es limpiar. It is a phrasal verb, yes. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Los phrasal verbs, wipe puede ser una cosa, pero wipe out es otra. Ya. Es decir, otra ya. cosa. Uh -huh. Es como look, ¿verdad? I look at the children playing. Yo miro a los niños. Y after es después, pero look after es ya el significado cambia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, tengo los Oh, los very phrases. interesting. Ya, yeah, los phrasal verbs son toda una familia. No me la voy a presentar. Sí, cabal, exacto. Y la verdad que son bien complicados porque se ocupan mucho y su significado a veces, depende del contexto, pueden significar hasta tres, cuatro cosas diferentes. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Y Muy ellos bien. en inglés se ocupan mucho los phrasal verbs. Porque acórtalas. A corta, exacto, y es más nativo. Ellos ocupan muchos phrasal verbs. Ok. Mm -hmm. All right. Ok. Thank Good. You. All right, you're welcome. The number is 12. In five years wow. time, I'll be at university. It's a probability. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to. But you're using B. Using B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y si ocupa el B. Be. Exacto. Acuérdese que la I regla, creo que la sexta del, del will, es que si le sigue el B, siempre va a ser will. Exacto. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Porque va el B. Ok. Sí. Si no voy a llevar el B, sino que otro verbo pudiera caber el going to. Pero en este caso, como va el B, tiene que usar el will. Su regla, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. You are right, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. The number two. She wants to get her mom, mom a birthday present. But she mm, going to not buy it today. She today. isn't buying este no sabe cómo pronunciarlo. Hi. Hi. Hello. Do you wonder how Mary finished? Yes. Excellent. Yes. All right. Very nice. No problems. Uh, it it kind it's confusing in in, yeah. in, in some ones. In some sentences, it's confusing. Yes, I know. Yes, it's confusing. All right, but you finish, right? That's the that's a good that's a good point. Yes. Yes, we yes, finished. Yes, All right. All right, very good. We're gonna go back and we're gonna I'm gonna show you the answers so we okay. can like uh see if we had a mistake or not. Okay. okay. Yes, okay. Hi. Hi. Were you able to Hi. finish? Yes. So so? Yes. All right. I think some of you finished and some of you did not, but that's okay. What I want to do right now, I'm just going to show you the answers and then you can check on your own if you got it right or not, okay? So okay. some of them, remember that you need to like, um, like apply the rules, okay? For example, number 12, that you have B in parentheses, then the rule says that when we have a verb B, we need to use will, for example. 
All right, yes. so you have to remember mm -hmm. that. For number five, we're talking about what are your plans for this evening. You're talking about prior plans, okay? So you have to use be good. All right? So uh, I'm just going to show you the answers, and then you can take a picture and then check them. And then tomorrow, if you have questions, you can ask me, okay? Okay. Okay. So here are the answers for, like, the first 15 sentences. Take a picture. Mm -hmm. And then compare your answers alone after the class. And then if you have questions, you can ask me tomorrow. Okay. okay. All right. How would I going to do? Would be I'm going to meet. All right. Finished? Finish? Yes. Yes. Finish. Yes. Yes. Finish. All right. So the idea for tomorrow's class, um, guys, I already told you we're going to work on the platform to do the test together. In case you have done it, it's okay, so you can review. In case you haven't, that's even better because you're going to have time to do it. And if you have questions, teacher, or more about anything else, you can ask me tomorrow. Yes, Yomara. Teacher, I don't take the picture. Why not, Yomara? I'm kidding. All right, right now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Yomara. Yes. All right, cool. Very good. Okay. Excellent. All right. Thank so you. You're very welcome. So check the answers. Make sure that you understand it. In case you don't, you can ask me tomorrow and then we're going to work on the platform. Okay. For any questions from the platform or any English questions that you may have, you can ask me tomorrow and I will help you. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I, okay. I am offering my help. So I said, I will help you. Did you notice? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. There you go. Ahí están las reglas. There you go. <laughs> I promise I will help you. Okay. 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 All right, okay. guys. So have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.